Welcome to All Play Games Weekly, where we bring you a weekly dose of tech news, games, and inspiration. I'm William D. Bacari. I'm Brian Karsten. Batten down the hatches and tighten them wagon wheels, pioneers. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, so man. Apple did its thing on Thursday and held an event in Cupertino, California, in the campus of Steve Jobs Theater, revealing that mitosis does actually exist in technology. Imagine that, huh? Just look at that iPhone 11. Man, whoo! More cameras? More fun? Hmm. Retailing at $699 in the U.S., the base model features a liquid retina display with a 6.1-inch LCD multi-touch display with IPS technology, a 1792 by 828 pixel resolution at 320 pixels per inch, a 1400 to 1 contrast ratio, true tone display, wide color display, haptic touch, 625 nits max brightness, fingerprint resistant oleophobic coating, support for display of multiple languages and characters simultaneously, Whoa. but enough about that. Let's talk about Apple Jeez. Arcade, baby. That's right. The iOS receives a healthy dose of gaming subscription service galore coming later this month to all Apple devices. At $4.99 a month, players get over 100 games and with the iOS 13 update, devices will now support PlayStation 4 and Xbox One controllers respectively. Ryan, streaming video games seems to be the way of the future. What do you think? Seems like every single week we bring it up, seems like we keep talking about it, and there's, you know, there's over 15 different streaming services out there right now, and you can go check them out. There's a bunch of different ones. Nvidia has one. Obviously, the Steam Link is, is out there currently right now, but uh, you know, Apple's trying to get in the game. They see Stadia coming on strong. They see them maybe trying to take over, and, and they don't want to fall behind. So I see why they're doing this. It makes a lot of sense, and I, I, I have to agree. I think it is the future. So here we go. Looking forward to it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, Nintendo dove deeper into the O-ring this week. It, excuse me. The ring, con, and leg strap devices, as they're called, were shown earlier this week as part of a teaser trailer that Nintendo is now suggesting that a new IP is correlating with these things called Ring Fit Adventure. Now, using the ring con and leg strap together, players will let uh, Keith sweat sweat from their pores all their way oh to the goal, gosh. defending the bodybuilding uh, dragon Drago. I'm, I'm not making this up. His name is Drago the Dragon. I, but doesn't matter. I'm 100% in for this because it totally <laughs> follows what we're doing on this channel. Ryan, you're a trainer. We promote positivity and health on this channel. What are your thoughts? I think it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, the Wii Fit, I remember when we first got it, my family got it, uh, and it was a lot of fun. We got on there, we got on the board, we were sweating, we were running, we were jumping, and uh, I mean, maybe it had a shorter lifespan than some other consoles and stuff out there, but I think it's fun, I think it's great, and, totally. and uh, maybe a little quirky, but it, it could take off. It I think it, I think it'll be a family thing. Yep. I think it'll be a family thing. I don't think you're gonna see a million people worldwide out there playing by themselves in their dungeon, just sweating it Breaking out. Sweat, but, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think it'll be a fun fun thing for families to get together and do. Absolutely. Yep. So for our gaming spotlight this week, new thing that we're going to do, we're going to be talking about a game called Mage Quit. A Bull Cut Studios early release, uh, early access release. This game features two to ten players for local or online play where you'll be drafting and curving from a 42 spell roster to kill your buddies and grow the most epic of wizarding beards. The fast-paced, fun, top-down party game can be found currently on Steam, but will be coming out on Xbox and Switch soon. So go check it out for yourself and tune in to twitch.tv slash Studios for future streams that we're gonna be doing on this game. And now for our gaming tip of the week, here's Alex McCall with some beginner tips in Battlefront 2 on PS4. Uh, well, I mostly use 4 to figure out Whoa. where the bad guys are and if maybe there's any heroes in the area. Okay. To get the lay of the land because, honestly, if I'm not a hero, I'm not going to be in the same areas as a hero. Thank you, Alex, for all your insight on a franchise that's special to all of us. Mm -hmm. and as we wrap up this All Play Games Weekly, we have a quote from writer J.K. Rowling. Destiny is a name often given in retrospect to choices that had dramatic consequences. Thanks for tuning into All Play Games Weekly. Take care, be well, and we'll see you next week, Pioneers. See you guys. Take care. <laughs>